this another dreary rainy day in Virginia. No spinning. Not cold, it's like 50, almost 60 degrees. You couldn't ask what it would be any nicer other than it's raining kind of heavily. They claim it might drop off around 3 o'clock. It's like noon now. It's been raining heavier, it's been raining a little lighter, you know, it's thundering a little teeny bit. Crappy day. I just got a haircut. I'm about five minutes from that thrift store. I'm going back in there to see if I can find that knife. Stand by. Oh, oh, on a side note, uh, the clash ring I found yesterday. I already found the, I found the owner already. Her name was, uh, well, you already know her name. It's Melissa. Um, she's uh, a member of the band, apparently. That's how I found them. Facebook is a, is a, a strong site. You can find a lot of information on Facebook. I went to the high school and they had a thing on there about the band, so I uh, I put a post on there and I got a call mm, maybe 15 minutes ago. Oh, that's my granddaughter's ring. So I guess uh, she'll pick it up tomorrow. I'll let you know more about that as it progresses. Stand by the thrift store right there. Let's see. Uh, Come on, Mac, old Mac Knife. Be right where I want you. This is the street I live on. Look how dreary it is. God. It's like London. I might move back across country, across the big pond. No knives, but the two thrift stores. Now I'm home. Bummer. Bummer, I say. He's a big old man, dude. Yes, he is. We started leaving the door open for him now. He hasn't come downstairs, but he's wandered down the hall a little bit and into our bedroom when Chris is up here, but only when she's up here. Big old kitty cat. Look at him. He's a big old kitty cat. Let me see you, big old cat man, dude. Look at that weather. Well, the rain has ceased a little bit, which is supposed to anyway. I'm going to uh, put some epoxy on my Exc Excalibur coil. You see those rocks have wreaked a lot of havoc with it of late. Let me chip off right there. I got the epoxy sitting on the warmer over here. Warming up. I got something else I'm going to share with you. I took a chance today on the uh, pick five. I played two tickets for 50 cents. And the top number, 4, 12, 14, 27, 20, 20 24, 27, that's my birthday numbers I play. Well, I almost won. $50,000, but I missed it by one number. You see that 14? Well, if that number had been a 2, I'd have won 50000 I got the 4, I got the 12, I got the 24, and I got the 27 right. I just missed the uh, first number at 2. So that's 50 clams I picked up today. That ain't too bad. The next bit of info I'm going to share with you is something I just read on one of the forums about cleaning... One guy says you use a toilet bowl cleaner, snowball or something like that he calls it, for five seconds. He says it does a fantastic job. Another guy says you take white vinegar, 
You cover all your coins in white vinegar, you add salt, you shake it up and down. Well, you see, these are all green beach clan coins that I'm trying to clean up. Just good enough to get them through the cornstar machine. I'm a cornstar guy. I ain't taking all that time to roll all them coins and do all that stuff. Though. You see, some are green, some are brown, some are real cruddy. We're getting ready to give us a spin right here. I got, the, I got the white vinegar and I got the salt. But I don't have any toilet bowl cleaner. So stand by one second. Let's give it a try here. The only thing he doesn't say is how much salt to add. Now I'm going to cover them with distilled white vinegar from White House. Now we're going to add some salt. Hold on a minute. Okay, I got some salt. I don't know how much salt to add, but we're going to add some. I can tell you one thing. <laughs> the damn water's turning green already and blue. Stand by. We've got to shake it up now. I see improvement. Like I said, I don't know how long you're supposed to do it or, or what, but you can see a, you can see most of them are uh, kind of corn star ready already. Corn star ready. I'm not looking to make them shiny, you know, pretty. I'm just trying to clean them up just a little bit because I go through that machine without any glitches. This is only like a tenth of what I got. I'm just experimenting to see if I like this. So stand by a minute or two. I'm going to let them set for three or four minutes, see what happens. Okay, five minutes have been setting. And this way it looks good. I see one or two in there, some hardcore ones. Stand by. I see I had one penny in there, and I had that damn token I found the other day in there. I didn't see that, and another penny. I did have three pieces of copper mixed in there with them. But you can see, all in all, it'll go through the coin machine okay. And here's a cruddy dime. You can see it's really thin. Maybe that just won't do it. Here's a nickel, cleaned up fairly good on this side, nothing spectacular on that side. Here's a quarter, it's still green on one side, but the other side's okay. So that'll go through the corn star machine okay. But look at some of them, they cleaned up really nice. Look at them, look at that one. Did a good job on quarters. Here's one here, it's a little shaky. A nickel. It ain't bad though. Not a bad deal with vinegar and salt. I posted on the forum that he was on to ask him how long did you leave it and how much salt did you use, but I never did hear from him, so that's the reason I gave it a try. Okay, I think it works okay, considering what they looked like before and what they look like now. I like it. Well, we're having quite the learning experience today, aren't we? Something else I need to share with you. You can see the uh, epoxy is, like I said, popped off in a few places on my coil. There, there, and there, and one spot on the other side. So I don't need much to cover it with. But when you take this apart and cut the ends of it off, I've never known that you could reuse it. I thought you had to just use it all and throw it away. So 
I noticed on the package they had a toll-free number that you could call. So I called her, asked the girl. She says, hey, rocket scientist, you see that little thing in the middle right there that you push out to push the plungers down with? She says, that's your locking, I mean, that's your sealer. You push that over the ends of it if you don't want to use it all. I've been using this stuff since 2005, and I never knew that was a cap. I hope most of you all know that, but I didn't. I've just been pushing that out of there and throwing it in the garbage and used the whole tube. So today we're just going to mix up a little batch and put the cap over it and see how long it stays usable. Stand by. All right, we just got a little dribbling in there. We got the top on there. God. Okay, it's in the sun drying. I mean, not the sun, but under the heater. Over the heater, I should say, drying. When it gets through, I think I'm going to put a new washer in there. It's a little loose. I don't like it loose. This is Anderson lower rod. Takes round washers. You can see it's wearing pretty good too. That's a whole coil. That's like a 2007 coil. Original. This has been a good heater right here. You just never know what you're going to learn in one day. What? What are you doing over there? He's hungry? A little carnivore? You are? Uh oh. What happened? You starving? Stand by. Maybe the next rainy day we'll try that other stuff. I got a lot of more coins. You know, a lot of coins I could do. Let's see. Where were we? We were right here. Here's what this guy says. We have to give that a try. It looks like the rain is gone, as they expected it to be. We headed to the store to uh, cash in our winning ticket. Well, I reinvested some of the $50 in some frozen vegetables and some black raspberry ice cream. Then I took a chance. This is a good part. I bought a couple tickets for tonight in the Mega Millions. Same numbers I played today. Then I bought two $10 scratch-offs. Well, the first one I got T-E-N. I won $10 on the first one. The second one says Y-F-T. $50 on that one. 60 smackers. Chance to win some more. Today was my lucky day, I think. I put some of that coin... I took it off the newspaper and get ready to put it back in a container or something. Turn out pretty good. See you later.